Hello everybody and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over the SCP command, um, part of the Watch 1030 moving files assignment for Seattle U. Um, <clears throat> Web development certificate. Right, so first of all, SCP or secure copy is another file transfer protocol that uses secure mechanism to move files around. It is generally gen generally prefer the preferred dedicated file transfer mechanism. If you just need to move a file from one server to another or from lo your local computer to a server, SCP is a good choice. And this is great because this is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to move a local file um, from our local computer over to our server. And once that's inside our server or uh, um, our droplet in DigitalOcean, We'll push that back into GitHub. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing is that we need our droplet. Notice that <clears throat> my droplet is already created. I have my IP address. So I'll go back into my terminal. So I'll do and I'll log in. So SSH root at my IP address. I'll run this. All right. Inside my droplet. Awesome. All right. Notice that. Now, if I go back over to our GitHub readme file, this is the SCP instruction, all right? And the SC SCP instruction says, all right, so I have to look for a file, an image, all right? And then when I have that file, I want to go back in, I, I want to log into my droplet, and inside my droplet, there should be, inside my home directory, um, inside my droplets home directory, there should be a, a directory called watch 1030 moving files. And inside that directory, there should be another directory called challenge files. And inside that directory, there should be another directory called IMG. And that's where I want to save my image inside that IMG directory that's inside challenge files, that's inside watch 1030 moving files, that's inside my droplets home directory. All right. Cool. Now, first of all, notice that if I do an LS here, I already have my Watson 30 moving files clone. Cool. All right. So let's run that instruction we got from the readme file SCP. This is my image. So because this is the image name I got, and that's the image I want to upload. And that's root at my IP address, home directory, Watson 30. Moving file, that's here. Inside here, there should be this. And inside this, it should be this. That's what I want. That's where I want my image to go. If I click enter, I'll get a password. Now, this is something unusual to get asked for a password because we're working with SSH keys. This is basically powerless logins. So right, right off the bat, I know that something's not working as it should. Okay, the reason for this is that notice that when I try to run this instruction, SCP, your file name, I'm trying to log in back to my IP address. So if I'm already logged in my droplet, I'm kind of saying, you know, I'm already logged in, let's try and log in. He doesn't understand that. So he, he asks for a password. So, I mean, he tries to log in, but he kind of bypassed the SSH key option. And it's kind of like, let's log in on top. I, I'm already logged in, so let's like log in again and log in again. And it gets kind of funky. So in order for this to work successfully, we have to log out, out of our droplet. So let's do, we can do either exit and we're out of our droplet, or we can stay log in our droplet, and most of our terminal windows, we can open a new tab. All right, and inside this new tab, I want to see which directory I'm in. So I know that I'm inside the user's username directory, So and I know my image that's here. It's on my desktop. So I'm going to change directory and go to the desktop. Now, 
I'll do an LS. I know that inside, well, I don't, I'll, I can do an LS, but I know that already my, my image, I know that's here. So I'm going to go back and grab this. And I'm going to change the things I need to change. For example, I need to change my IP address. All right, so let's look again at my IP address again. I'll just copy this, paste that there. All right, make sure that there are no spaces. There are no spaces here, nor here. Great, all right. Now, I'll delete this. I know it's a, J, a JPEG file, so I can leave that extension there. All I have to do right now is change the name. All right, so I'll do image. SCP image, that's the name of the file. And I'll try and I'll want to send this over to my droplet. Over to my droplet. And once in once you're inside that droplet, look for dice directory and drop the image there. Alright, so enter. That's it. So this is telling me your image was successfully uploaded. Awesome. Let's go back. So notice that. Now let's try to go back into that directory to see if if it if it was there if it you know got uploaded. All right, so Watson thirty chat files and wired there. We'll do an ls. Notice the image is here. Another way to check this is to do a git status, and the image is waiting to be added and committed and push back to GitHub. All right, so I hope this helps um, help you guys um, trying to grasp and understand a little bit more of how the SCP command works and helps you through the Watts, Watts 1030 moving files assignment for the web certificate at CLU. Um, so, Go take, go try it out again. Um, have fun and good luck. Bye bye.